the first moment of spring. Nature just started to wake up after a long winter, but the water is already glittering, rippling and trembling. Under slender alders, beautiful fairies and distorted monsters play tick in the shade of the green hides. They are the inhabitants of the revived world of horror. The freshwater invertebrates. hiding deep in the creek long for the sky. But they still have a long way to go before their dreams come true. Excessive curiosity can be fatal if a little fish believes the merciless water scorpion is a tree branch. The predator quenches his hunger with routine movements and then shares its prey with a mate. A little further away, the lesser water bowman is preparing to eat a modest meal. It has no idea that the lame diving beetle larva is already on its trail. Hunter lurks in the depths of a babbling stream in the shade of willow trees. For the hawker larva, a careless movement is enough to grab it with its mask and then devour its relative, the skimmer larva, alive. small forest lake, life is already vibrant before the buds burst. The tadpoles grow with the foliage. Slipping out of the vibrating jelly, one of them sets out to explore its tiny universe. But it doesn't get too far. To the shards of a wine bottle thrown into a stream, a new fashion fad conquers the caddisfly larva. They are famous for their cases, and 
nowadays, they build them out of glass. Sure, some losers still struggle with stones. But the coolest ones only use glass. Although the old minded swear to the well proven sand grains, one of their enlightened companions has already heard the call of the new times. In the Alka forest, water spiders give each other the eye and then hug in love. The flame of their love goes out immediately after the lightning fast mating. Spider Dad is just waiting for the opportunity to escape, while Mum is already preparing to lay eggs. The long-awaited day finally dawns. Spider offsprings leave the parental home to plunge boldly into the thick of life. In its new territory, the most diligent one builds a neat little house which attracts lazy intruders like a magnet. Thanks to a team of water fleas, there is an abundance of prey. They make pigs of themselves with the tiny crustaceans. Housing conditions, on the other hand, are miserable leading to an endless series of conflicts. Further away, in an area full of mosquito larvae, a small spider can prove its competence. If it solves the task, larger trophies can come. Innovated horse leech slowly wakes up and begins to search. He rolls through every nook and cranny to see if he finds any delicacy. Not far from here, an earthworm is transforming to aquatic lifestyle. The bubbling water is rich in oxygen, so the change of habitats can be pretty smooth. The segmented adventurer stumbles upon a worm relative, ending its fantastic journey in a leech stomach. The water scorpion cleans its raptorial legs. This is bad news for the banded demoiselle larva. The raptorial leg will suddenly become a leg raptor. C. 
sealing the fate of the long-legged larva. Endless pain and cheerful dance at the same time and at the same place, in the murky hide of the small stream. Let's drift further with the events towards unscrupulous parasites. Cursed mayfly larvae carry their heavy burden on the stony bottom. The non-biting midge larvae, which gradually devour their unprotected bodies. The fat parasite eventually puppets and then leaves the host. And the liberated mayfly continues to serve the survival of the parasites through its offsprings. The glitter-eyed back swimmer is a real beauty. Of course, its unfortunate victims do not agree with this. Now, however, it gets into big trouble because it clashes with the wild water scorpion. That was a hot situation. To the great fright, it would be good to eat something, it thinks, and takes action. It strikes a water slater and then sucks out its body fluid on the surface. Once done, it will take a thorough cleaning next to the emptied water slater's skin. Side swimmers are busy on the water floor. During their carefree play, they don't even notice that one of their companions is just being caught. Branches. Up in the sky and down in the water. A branch suddenly comes to life and kills a damselfly larva. The branch-mimicking water stick insect has a good day today. It has managed to kill the broad-winged damselfly larva. A startled little fish wanders into the dark forest, where huge eyes follow its every move. The hawker larva is just waiting for the right moment to catch its chosen victim. Once the boss is full, flatworms and a water scorpion larva continue the feast. Pond skaters live skating on the surface of the water. When they are thirsty, they just sip from the water below them. After the aperitif, the feast may come. The non-biting midge misses its aerobic stunt, thus ending its earthly career as a pond skater food. Another sip and the dessert may come. A drowned giant, a crane fly.
dark clouds gather in the sky, while the proboscean death emerges from the deep water and starts hunting. The water scorpion pulls down the satiated pond skater. So after the role change, the who eats who game can continue. Prong Guild Mayfly, a real water fairy, travels on the water floor with graceful, measured steps. Every detail of this ancient creature proclaims the wonder of nature. It steps forward and stops. It waves gently and then bends. like a prima donna playing on the stage of the stream. A flat but exceedingly agile creature. It is the child of the running waters the flat-headed mayfly lava. Where everyone is swept away by the storm of water following a rain, it clings strongly. Its goal in life is to survive in the fast current, then to find a mate and die in the air after an exhausting swarming. When they are frightened, they fly away so they're not harmed. Diligent grazers are peaceful and pious. They are small minnow mayfly larvae, living in ponds and streams. resident of the Silver Bell comes into play. And it makes no mistake. The prey of the water spider is the fastest aquatic insect, the lesser water boatman. Feast in the bell after the lightning fast action. It's just occupied his post when a strange intruder arrives. A broad winged damselfly larva. It was in the wrong place at the wrong time but now it has gone to a better place. The alderfly larva is a dangerous adversary, yet it cannot escape. but it can watch the water spider ritual from the pantry.
room for improvement in speed, but never underestimate your opponent, because you can easily end up among chelicery. Sounded the wise, partly Latin saying of side swimmers. A fading shadow marks the beginning of the hunting season. Bloodthirsty hawker larvae turn their creepy masks towards unsuspecting side swimmers. They are not disappointed if they miss the target and bite a tree branch because the final word is theirs anyway. There is no mercy for those sentenced to death. The water stick insect is lurking. It doesn't tire of chasing prey, it's just waiting for the pie in the sky. Water scorpion is a bit more of a stressy character. It firmly believes great haste makes great taste. Eventually, it will be right, so it's no longer interested in cheeky side swimmers. But sometimes it returns to slow mode for the sake of an unexpected water slater. Enthusiastic about the example of the elder, the young water scorpions also start to hunt, proving they also have something to earn in the noble competition of crustacean hunting. A shining silver spider appears in the water and then miraculously crawls to the surface. The raft spider dives only when it needs to hide away. Otherwise, it's always searching for pond skaters on the surface of the water. Orientation, jumping and biting. The rule of thumb for pond skater hunting. No one can hide from them as they can notice virtually anything. Four eyes see more than two, but having eight is even better. Water measurers hang out on the surface of the creek. They are constantly stroking their legs. If they get stuck in the water surface because of their tousled leg hair, they perish. During their raids, they search for the drowned insect's carcasses. The prey is impaled and sucked out with their needle-pointed rostrum. Even during eating, they don't forget that well-combed leg hair is the key to their survival. So they do their best to look stunning.
whirly gig beetles are crazy about circle dance. Once they get dizzy, they dive into the deep to rest for a while, and then they continue the chase. In the green sanctuary, Leaves fall onto the water as we fly over the lush vegetation. The mysterious mirror of water shines between the tangled branches. We now know because we have seen with our own eyes that strange creatures live on the other side of the mirror. Flying higher, we can still admire the enigmatic glowing waters. As we fly above the clouds, we long to return to the creek that flows deep in the forest. The quietly trickling water is the cradle of life. The ancient specimens of aquatic invertebrates have lived here the same way for millions of years. At sunrise, at the base of budding trees, under the starry sky.